Hey everybody, this is Bill with iRide Tiny House Adventures. Hope you all are having a good day today. Well, we thought we'd give you a little bit of an update and let you know what's going on. We haven't been doing a whole lot to the trailer recently, mainly because it's been kind of cold. And the days that we have free to work on the trailer, the weather hasn't been cooperating with us. So it has uh, slowed us up a little bit. But we are doing little, little trim things, things like that. Foo-foo stuff, you might say. And we will eventually, uh, in the very near future... Uh, put together a video to show you all the little things we've done here and there and you know what we're getting real close we're getting real close to doing our final tour of the trailer before we actually take it out and uh, try it out for a weekend which we intend to do here before too long but what we really want to talk about today we are going to be towing this trailer and we want to show you the tow rig that we're going to be using and the plans that we have for that uh, so we're going to visit about that for a little bit so let me show you what we got here this is my hour this is mine and Deb's Chevy Express 2500 and we just love this van we've had it now for a little bit over a year it has been a fantastic vehicle we've driven it everywhere we've been uh, way up into central Missouri to play a music gig with it we actually drove it all the way from northwest Arkansas over to Georgia to pick up our trailer and hauled it back and it did a fantastic job hauling the trailer I drove rather aggressively, <laughs> and I still managed to average about 10 miles per gallon and had all the power I could ever ask for. It has the 6.0 LS engine in it, for those of you that are into that sort of thing and know what I'm talking about. It has the 4L80 transmission in it as well, and it has 373 rear gears in it. Now, we made a few modifications to the van in preparation for our adventure. A little odds and ends things here that uh, I felt like was real important. So let me show them to you or talk about them anyway. First and foremost, one of the first things that I did was I added a transmission cooler, an auxiliary transmission cooler to the van. And if you look real close here, you can see it through the grill. Let me get up there real close so you can see it. But there it is sitting right through the grill. It's very, very important to keep your transmission fluid running at uh, the proper temperature when you're towing, especially if we happen to get into hills and things like that. Uh, while I'm up here up front and close by, I'll go ahead and show you for those of you that are wondering. Yes, we do have a brake controller for the trailer. And there it is right there. There's the brake controller right there for the trailer. All right, so that you know that we've got that. Now, other things that we did as well, because, well, just because, that's why, just because. I went ahead and put a new radiator in it. They're not expensive. So I went ahead and put a new radiator in it just because, because I wanted to uh, make sure that I didn't have issues with that down the road. And we also had a new fuel pump put in it just because. Uh, it, you know, you never know when a fuel pump's gonna go and it's got a few miles on it. I won't reveal the actual miles it has on it because when you're sitting behind the wheel driving it, you don't know that it's got those kind of miles on it. Yeah, I mean, it drives like a brand new rig. I'm serious, I kid you not. But uh, we did go ahead and have a new fuel pump put in it because I have contacts here where I live. I have lots of folks that, uh, that I can uh, go to see and they do things for me for a fair price. And so uh, I went ahead and took care of that because out on the road, that can get quite expensive if you had a fuel pump happen to fail. Something else that we did to the van, we also had a uh, airbag or air auxiliary spring kit installed on the rear. We actually went to a 5,000 pound kit and I don't know that we'll ever need uh, to haul, be able to haul that much weight, but we do have the capacity there. No, I'm never gonna be hauling that kind of weight inside here, but I will be hauling some weight, but I just thought it would be best to have, have the added insurance. Right now, I've only got it set on the uh, the required 10 pounds of pressure. That's the minimum amount of pressure they require uh, when you're not hauling a load. And then we'll wait and see how it sits when we get a load in it and when we get hooked up to the, to the trailer here. So here's what we want to talk about here for a moment. We're going to be hauling quite a bit of stuff in here. Now, I went ahead and put a plywood floor down in here uh, for the preliminary stuff. And... I ran the plywood crosswise because I simply prefer to do that. I ran it crosswise instead of lengthwise. Some folks run it lengthwise. And I didn't screw it down with nails. I stuck it with Gorilla Glue 
construction adhesive, Gorilla Glue construction adhesive. And I've used the Gorilla Glue construction adhesive before on van projects like this, and it has always worked fantastic for me. Another thing that I did in order to make sure the plywood was laying good and flat after I ran the glue down the, uh, the ribs in the floor, I also had several buckets, five gallon buckets that I filled with water and laid them out over the, the floor to weight it down so that it could uh, hold the paneling down flat to the floor and it would go ahead and stick and, and wait it until it dried. Now, we're going to be hauling a lot of stuff in here. As a lot of you know, I'm a musician and so I have some sound equipment that I will be taking with me on our adventure. I also uh, will be taking my two guitars with me on our adventure. Uh, in addition to that, we'll also be hauling our kayaks inside and our bicycles inside. We also have our uh, auxiliary gray water tanks that we'll be hauling in the van when they're not hooked up to the trailer at the campsite. So I've got to figure out a way to get all this stuff in here, and I want to haul it inside the van, not anything outside. I don't want to haul my kayaks outside on the roof. I don't want to haul the bicycles outside on a rack, so they're all going to be in here. Our initial plan is to build a false floor roughly about the height of the uh, fender wells here. And a lot of stuff will go underneath the false floor. And what I'll do is bring everything out here when I get ready to start building the false floor and building compartments for each item. I will bring everything out here and see how it would set on the floor and then start uh, framing my walls for my and, and supports for the false floor accordingly when it comes to that. Once I get everything figured out that I want to haul below the false floor, then I will be mounting one of the bicycles. Uh, it'll be riding along this side over here, and the other bicycle will be riding along this side over here. And we we both have bikes that have uh, quick release front hubs, front wheels. They, they quick release off. And then what we're planning on doing is getting the uh, the uh, they make a special mount that you can bolt to the floor where the front fork uh, slips into that mount and you can cinch it down. And then, of course, I'll have a small rail system for the back wheel that will hold the back wheel in place. So that's how we'll do that. Then what I'm hoping that I can do, I plan on trying to build some kind of a A-frame type structure, maybe out of PVC or something, so that our kayaks will slide in at an angle on either side and still have an opening down the center to uh to put uh other things like our like our screened in tent that we're going to be carrying with us our uh, our area rug that fits inside the tent you know there's several little things that we've got to consider in addition to that i also use a small four before stage sometimes when i play at some of the upscale farmers markets they'll have me set up on the grass so i've got to have a small four foot by four foot stage which i have but i'm working on designing a new one that I can actually fold it in half and it'll uh, it'll physically be two foot by four foot and uh, a separate riser kit that I've already purchased that will set on the ground and it folds up real neat like a little accordion and then I can simply set the uh, the four by four uh, plywood on top of that and now I've got my little stage again I use uh, different types of pedals in my show I use effects pedals for my guitar and also effects pedals for my uh, vocals as well. And I also use a, a pedal to uh, trigger my drum machine and things like that. So I've got to have a nice flat level surface to work all those pedals. So anyway, that's our main plan there. Let me step around over here and show you something else about how I did the floor here on the side. You notice I didn't trim out for the for the footwell here. I went ahead and carried the plywood all the way out, all the way out to the edge here. And the main reason why is because we're also going to have a small clothes dryer right here. Uh, we found one that will fit perfect here, and I feel confident that I can make the clothes dryer work right here and still have room to get my kayaks down. I've been doing a lot of measuring and everything, and uh, so the clothes dryer will fit right here. So I had to bring this all the way out because in order for everything to work, the face of the clothes dryer has to be close to the to the door when it's shut. You know, it's got to come out as far as it can without interfering with the door when it shuts. So that's uh, that's what we'll be working on there. So. The false floor and then this dryer will sit on top of the false floor 
over here. And that's also more convenient also because this small dryer, the actual controls are down at the bottom rather than at the top of the dryer. So it's going to work out good. I was going to say it's going to work out good for Deb, but uh, I shouldn't say that. It's going to work out for me when I come out here to dry some clothes. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. That's right. You going to show me how to work it? Uh, yes, I am. Can you remember? I don't know. It's kind of hard. I can't remember the one we have now. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Anyway, uh, step on over here. We just have a little bitty slight breeze today, not much. Uh, it's still on the nippy side, but it's not bad, is it? No, it's not bad. I went for a bike ride without gloves. I mean, it was yeah, like, your hands got cold when you went for a bike cold. ride without gloves. <laughs> She's trying out her new bike right now. Uh, we're having to get it all adjusted for her. We, we got her a new bike. It's like mine, only a smaller frame to fit her instead of... Mine's a frame for a tall guy, and hers is a frame for, well, a tall lady. You're, for, you're pretty tall. You're five foot five? That's right, can answer. Yeah, you used to be five six. Now you're five five. How about that? Tape measures have changed. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, that's about it. We just wanted to show you that right quick. Uh, the trailer is coming along nicely. I will say that. We've uh, we've done, a, like I say, we've been doing little foo-foo things on the inside. Let me back up here so you can get a good view of it again right here. And uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting excited. Uh, we get we, and frustrated at the same time. Excited and frustrated at the same time because we wish it was done. But it's it's really really close. And you know, the little things almost take as much time as the big things. It really really does. But anyway, we'll get there. We'll get there. So anyway, folks, we're gonna we're gonna sign off for now. We just thought we'd uh, go through that right quick. And uh, I know a lot of you are thinking. I don't think he's going to be able to get all that stuff in there. I don't think he's going to be able to get all that stuff in there. Do you think I'm going to be able to get all that stuff in there? Yes, I do. You do? We're going to get all of that stuff and more. <laughs> you forgot the camp chairs. You know. Well, they fold up. So There's, many things. You know, it's going to have to go in yeah, this trailer. Well, the secret <laughs> is whenever you look at anything, you always look at stuff that folds up. That's right. Right. You I always want to, everything that you're going to be carrying with you, it's got to fold up, you know, and that's, it's just like my stage. Them. I got to start over and make a whole new stage that folds up. We didn't find fold up kayaks. No, we didn't find fold up kayaks, but, uh, <laughs> but we did get shorter kayaks so we could put them inside rather than on top. And we'll talk about the kayaks later. There's, it's, it's too cold to talk about that's kayaks right. right now. I know. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is show them how we got them inside. Yeah. Right. There you go. All right. All right, folks. Hope you have a good rest of the week, and we'll be talking to you again real soon. But for right now, this is Bill and Deb saying goodbye. See you later. All Thanks right. for watching. Y'all take care. Bye-bye now.